All right, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how I put my models into Blender, like from an existing mod, yes, someone else's mod pack. You put that model into Blender, and then you can save that as a file so you can come back and retexture it as much as you want, many times as you want, without having to reconfigure it every single time because it's breaking down the gun. So, today, well, we're not breaking down the gun today, I'm going to break down the car because that has multiple texture selections and using CRS's, CRSK's BMW E34. So, when you've got the mod, like this, the whole mod thing, we need to import the model. But with a car, or most vehicles in fact, it's got proxies as well, so you've got all the parts to the car, so like the door, the tyres, the seats, all that stuff. But, for this example, I'm going to just put um, a couple of car doors on it in the body, yeah? So, oh, I just closed the folder, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let me get the folder back up. So go back into the main mod folder and you can see you've got a P3D file. Like this is the beat, this is like the broken up model, so it's like all dented and stuff. But you won't have that, so you'll just have the main model file here, it's P3D. And you can't import this into Blender. So you need to um, get this tool here, the P3D Convert, which will be available as a link in my description. And you simply just drag, if my mouse doesn't keep breaking on me, click and drag that onto the P3D Converter, give it a moment. It should completely uh, break it down to an mod folder here, file. So I'm going to do the same with a couple of doors. So this one's in a different language, but I know for the doors, it's always like a one underscore one, like one underscore two and so on. So one, like the first number, references the driver side. So one underscore one is the driver door. One, uh, one underscore two is the driver side but the passenger door at the back. And then 2 1 is a passenger side door, and that one's a back passenger door on the right hand side. Or left side if you've got a British car, I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to do the two um, front doors on the car. So we're going to get. Yours won't have this issue, this is just a personal issue with my mouth. So I'm going to convert this into the MLOD. And that's finished. And then I'm going to do 2 1 as well. So put that in there. And continue. So we've got three parts selected. I'm going to leave this behesnik. I think this might be the boot. Like the boot of the car, the trunk. I'm going to do an extra model just to show you. Like, because cars with a lot of textures can be very troublesome. So they break down every time you want to reskin it. So delete everything you've got in here. Yep. Oh. See, the thing is my mouse. I click. I drag it. Normally let's go with the click. I have to really squeeze my mouse for it to work. So anyway, we go to import Armour Free P3D, and if you don't have this, you go to Edit Preferences and make sure you have Armour Toolbox installed. There'll be a link for this in the description. Just install it and checkbox it when it's done. And I don't know what the hell I just opened. Layout, right there we go. So File, Import, Armour Free P3D, and we have this on our desktop in Cars, I believe it's called Cars. So start with the main model, which is the this on the M mod at the end. So import. Say it was only import a gun and stuff like that, you get all these weird parts to it. You just literally keep the best M mod version at the top. So these are like the levels of details. So one is like the best level of detail. Two is like a like when they're further away, don't need to render as many like parts to it. But if I turn all these off, actually, I, I might be able to show you. I can't just turn them all off. So. Number one looks like the shell looks like this, but number three, the shell looks really bad geometry on it. You see all the little weird concaves and stuff like that. You don't want this, so you want to keep number one and delete everything else. So delete and delete that one. I don't know what that was for. So there we go. We've got this. To get with these triangles, you press Tab to edit into edit mode. And you click on this button up here, the select mode, face selection mode. Uh, you simply just, I'm going to click and drag across all of them, but don't select any parts of the car. And then you press the delete key and select faces. And there's quite a, quite a lot on this vehicle. Oh. Uh, my mouse is doing my head and face. There we go. Delete. Delete faces. I know this one is quite a lot of them in this one selection so what I like to do is go into x-ray mode and inside that triangle there should be one 
dot right there. Do you see this dot? And because they're all stacked on top of each other, I know I've got to select this and I'll select all them triangles together. I can press delete and faces. There we go. So now I'll go back into the normal mode. Select any other triangles. Don't delete any of these little parts here, by the way. So all these little tiny parts that there to be baked out in the texture as well. So you don't you do not want to get rid of them. So all the triangles are gone. These are okay, these are the floor mats. You don't want to delete them. So we've got uh, the body part installed. Well, loaded in. Um, I like to save regularly. So we go back and grab cars. After each one, I like to save because sometimes I break something and I have to revert. And then I'll leave them off. I'll lose, lose a lot of progress. So I'll just put some tutorial. Break down. Save. So there's that one imported. That part. So let's try and import another part now. So import another P3D model. And inside the cars, we add proxies. So we're looking for the door 11 mod. This one. Import. Do the same again. Geometry parts. So we just select number two. Fold the folder that's got number two on it. All the way down to fire geometry. Hold shift and click the last one. Press delete. And this one shouldn't shouldn't have any triangles on, but just to make sure I'm pressing tab a second, just so I can't see if I can see any loose triangles anywhere. No, we're good for that one. So this is a door. Let's line it up. So turn the car part back on. And I'm gonna go into X-ray mode and also click on the Y on this axis thing up here. So go straight on. Press tab to go back into object mode. Click on the object. Click on the move tool up here on the top left and try and roughly line it up for now. And the, oh, rough the mouse thing. <laughs> ah, come on, I'm trying to make a video. God damn it. So I'm roughly lining it up anyway. So that's kind of looks like where it goes. We'll go to the X view. You can see it's nowhere near in the right place. And so, so that's a rough line up. Now I can go back into the actual object bit mode and see how bad I lined it up. So the best thing about cars is you've got these little um, indent lines here that you can line up nicely. Almost. It's, it's a very tedious job, but you only have to do this once, which is beautiful. Come on, bro. Let me click. Let me click. There you go. That'll do. You, you obviously, when you do this, you have to do this a lot better than I'm doing it. So there's that door installed, and I'm playing backwards. What's this? Pause. I was somehow playing backwards. Anyway, so this is a door one underscore one, right? I don't want to name the actual file. I want to name this folder up here so it's easier. The door one underscore one. So let's turn all this off real quick. So I'll keep it on because it's easier this way. Import P3D and then we do door 2 1. Not the uh, this MLOB version. Import, there we go. So with this, make sure you don't delete the body or the door 1 that you already imported. Because every time you import it, it'll come up with the, like, the numbers 1 through however many MLOBs they got down to the fire geometry. So Select fire geometry or number two, and you just got to basically select all of them things in between. You can't just oh anyway yeah, just you can just make sure everything in there is deleted. All you want to end up with is the one folder and the one object. So we've got that. I'm gonna do a very quick job of line that up for you. I'm not gonna go super crazy on it, but you get the gist of how we're doing this. And this here will save you a hell of a lot of time when you're reskinning like common items. Um, I said I'm doing a rough job, but I can't help myself. There's something wrong with me. I need to get it right. Right, here comes the fun part now. We've got the, I'm not gonna do the Kapoor thing, whatever that was. I don't even know what it is to be fair with you. So, let's just say that's all done. Let, and let's start with the body. You go into the object itself, and then on this um, material button down here, the, it's like a, a red ball. 
you see all these different kind of textures that are attached to it. These are all actual images. Like, so let's just say the number, that's a number plate, I know that anyway. Let's just go to the dno.paa. So we look inside of the um, data folder of the dno.paa. Let's see what this is. This looks like it is the engine. A part of the engine, part, part of the bottom of the car and stuff. So that's not obviously in all of these textures, but we might have parts of it, like the fan maybe. Maybe that's part of it, I'm not too sure. But when you've got all your models selected anyway, when we've got all the stuff imported, you'll see that we'll start with color, the normal camera one, yeah? And so I'm gonna press tab into this, oh, into the vehicle, tab. We've only got the first one selected, so you wanna camo Kraska, which is my camo one, I hit select. You can see it selects the majority of the car that we import, but it hasn't selected all of it. You see this part here and the part under here. These are all parts of the model that we imported, but it's a different texture. So you want to right click this and separate by selection. So now if I turn this off, this is, hang on, wait, I'll turn the other two off as well. So at that first model, we selected the camo texture and that's all of this, but it also came with all these parts as well. So you don't want to just skin the entire model. So now, now we've done that, what I like to do is I like to just literally copy this whole first line. So like you double click into that camo, copy it, oh, oh, control C to copy it. And up here you want to right click, new collection, and then paste it in there. And then the part that had all them camo Kraska parts on it, I'll drag that into this collection, and then I'll turn that off. So now I have a collection in here called camo Kraska PAA. So let's minimize the body one which we already have so this is all that's let me show you this is all that's left of the body one we don't want to do anything with that just right now we're going to go through every single list of models that we've imported and see if they have the camo Kraska selection on it so let's turn the door on real quick click on the door press tab let's look down this list it has camo Kraska so we select it right click it separate by selection and I think I just broke my blender. I remember this door had a problem before. Ah, oh, this is this is a really bad video. This is a really bad video. But you do this for every model, and then once you've got this whole camo Kraska selected, and you've got like loads of different parts of the car in there, different parts of the weapon, you can select them all and combine them. I'm gonna have to do this another time. <laughs> I'm gonna upload this video though, so you get a rough idea. So each one of these textures, so like plastic, for example over here. I can't do anything by the way. If you're looking at my screen thinking, why is he not doing anything? It's, it's crashed my blender. This car's model's broken. But say this plastic E34 underscore plastic one co, I'd copy that name, make a new collection, name that that name there, and then go through each, the body, the doors, all the other parts of the model that I've selected, and make sure I only select the plastic parts of it, break, separate it, and drag it into this folder, name that, that um, that material so then when you save your project you can come back to it let me show you the actual one I've got is is one I made earlier is me little uh, blue Peter moment so go back to me cars and this one is one that I made earlier so I'll show you let me um this is my texture pack by the way the link to this will be in the video description I may as well plug that in there while I'm here aren't I so let's um go into not my blender file, I need to go into my view layer. So as you can see, over here I've got all the different selections of the car turned on, look. So, ignore them to the other windows. So I literally put every single part of the car into here, but I separated it all by this, um, the color name. So, if I select this now, uh, and go to tab mode, select, oh no, tab, and then press A, I'll turn everything else off. Actually, it's going to be easier. You can see that obviously the door's got the color in it, the boot's got the color on it. So you you'll have stuff like this instead. So each part, each color texture. So this is the camo Kraska.paa. Let me show you that real quick in the actual data file and you'll see what I mean. So data camo Kraska. So as you can see is actually a lot of the car is this camo Kraska material. So if you had just imported the main body of the car, you'd only get like this part here and 
maybe the side pan these side panels of the car here, but you wouldn't get the doors, you wouldn't get any of the boot, you wouldn't get any of that stuff. And then you can skin this car however you please. So I'm gonna just turn it on real quick and chuck some random materials on this stuff. So let's just say we wanted wooden internals. Oh wait, I need to come out of edit mode. So they're all wooden internals. Oh you don't want wooden seats actually, that's a that's a bad idea that. But you could you can also let's just say this is the um what part are we in here we're in the inter so this is all the, the parts inside that's a good example actually i'll show you right now so if i turn everything else off so i can see what i'm working with here and all these so as you can see this is all just one texture but what you can do now go into edit mode oh pardon me and then let's just say i just want to get these chairs so i'm going to press l to loop select do it around as much as you possibly can. I'm just going to do it real quick for you actually. So you manually select all the little parts that you want. Like go into detail. I'm trying to make this video quick because I kind of messed up on this video. The blender crashed on me. But here's this. You selected the, the, the car parts for example, the car seats I mean. Sorry. You right click it. You separate by selection. Let's add a leather. I think I've got a leather in here. Um, in the special. I don't know where I put the leather. I made this bloody pack and I forgot where I put it. Wait, where where is the leather? Have I not categorized it? This is this is not right. There it is. So let's put the leather. Oh, and it's come out of edit mode. Let's put the leather on the seats. So we can see we've got leather seats now. So you can get these two models here and, and then right click in the viewport and click join and then it becomes one texture again so we turn this back on you'll see that we've got the random wooden internals and stuff but let's just say you want to bake this out now it's very very simple my daisy texture baker if i um open this up go to render tab and with my daisy texture baker here i can click on where can i save this I'll just make another folder. Tutorial. Tutorial. Bake. There we go. So I select the folder where I want to e export these images from. To. Sorry. Where I want to export the images to. So you literally just select the inside the texture of it. You can click on the model name. Just the, There's got to be one single model inside of it. You can't have multiple ones just yet. That is a feature that's coming soon where you can just select the collection. So we've got the model. I'm going to bake it as 1k for now, I'm going to click colour bake and then let that do its thing and there we go, we've baked all that stuff into a what's this one called? the Inter 2, so let's have a look at the original Inter 2 and see if, it, see if I've done this right, so Inter 2 uh, colour so yeah that was the original internal colours and that's a new one so as you can see, you can very customizable, make your car very, very customizable with different materials and different selections, but still bake it out as one texture. I hope this video has helped you. I'm going to upload this anyway. It's a very, very bad video, but I'm going to upload it and subscribe because I'm going to make a, a much more prepared video for this. So I'm going to have a, obviously the one I made earlier and so on, but I'm going to go into more detail with it. This is just a an idea so you can hopefully start modeling quicker before I release a, the final touched up video so if this video did help you hit the like button if it didn't help you join the discord i'll see if i can help you in there because i am here to help you so the discord link will also be in the description below and happy modeling and also share your projects inside of um my discord as well you can just share screenshots of the things you've made i'd love to see all these different creations that people make because it I'm, I'm very dry on creativity as you can see i've got a wooden and leather internals in my car like i'm living back in the 70s or whatever so if you yeah subscribe subscribe to my channel i'm going to try and make more videos I'll, i will have different kinds of videos i'll have these kind of videos where i just literally hit record and try and do something if it fails it fails but i'm also going to have very polished up videos so you can if your friend asks you you can share the polished up video and they say i don't understand so show them the broken video Anyway, I'm rambling. I like to talk. So join my Discord. I'm, I'm here all day, most of the days. 
I'll chat to you, I'll help you, any support you need. It's not just me in there, other people will help you as well. And have fun guys, happy editing, happy modding, happy reskinning.